Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and today I'm going to be doing two readings. Um, these are the two cards that came out for today. We have Inspiration of Cups, which is the Page of Cups in this deck. And we have the Say You're Sorry. Um, just taking a look at both of these, I feel a go with the flow vibe, Pisces. I feel it's more has to do with you saying yes to the heart. Um, Saying you're sorry means that you feel you 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 haven't um, calloused over your heart, and that's the biggest message that I get from this. Now we're looking at your past, so that means you've either um, felt that way in the past, you've been very tender-hearted, or you were lacking tender-heartedness. There's there's all kinds of messages that can come in with this for you. Um, regardless, this is definitely the path of tenderness. The word tenderness keeps just budding in through all of this. Find a little tenderness in your heart. Tenderness to forgive. Tenderness to love. Find the tenderness in yourself and embrace it. Um, sometimes we forget that we're, we're, um... We're supposed to love. Love is one of the most positive and strongest emotions that we have. And it opens up doors. It, it, it melts the ice for a lot of people. If you just put a little more tenderness in your heart. So we're going to look. We're going to start with, of course, the Inspiration of Cups, by the way, from the deck, the Tarot of Oneness. If you look at this, this is just simply beautiful isn't it? even have the heart here in the sand, um, the shell, the listening, listening to your heart with the pink. Uh, it's just, it's gorgeous. Okay, so now that I'm done gushing over that, let's pull some cards for you today, Pisces. Let's see. <clears throat> let's see if I can back that up. I'll try to show you the cards because I usually I usually put in the cards really close in. And since in the, it's in the past and it's saying, say you're sorry, we've been looking at that in the last couple of years. So maybe you've actually done the work, Pisces, and that's what they're talking about, that now in your past you've said you're sorry. You have the three of pentacles. It's in reverse, but it doesn't matter. Either way, it looks the same. So for me, that's usually an indication when the card um, appears to look, um, you know, upright, no matter what way you put it. There's a togetherness, there's um, a building of a strong team here, just like this, okay? Um, you've either let go of the people you needed to, you've let your heart open up to the people that needed to be in your life, and this could be people that previously you just had, you know, shut down, that you hadn't let in because, because of fear. Um... <clears throat> Sometimes you just don't want to ask for help. Sometimes we think we're going to be bothering people, right? And here we go again. You have the three, another three. So I feel like this again, and that's the three of cups. See that? And I think I picked it up this way. It doesn't much matter either. Um, there's a reconnection here for you. In the past, you were busy reconnecting. See that? See there, reconnection? There's definitely a reconnection of some sort going on here, Pisces. It's great! Oh. This inspiration of swords, this is like the page of swords, like the inspiration of cups. 
and this one is like the bird and the box opening up, the ideas flying out, you know, out of the box ideas. Um, I feel that this might have been very different for you from before. Um, in the past, maybe you talked yourself out of doing these things. You didn't go out of the box because you were in fear of, I don't know, of, of getting hurt, of failing, of not succeeding at something. More. Yeah. See with the moon card? By the way, just look at how beautiful this moon card is. Okay. Um, the wisdom's in the trees, Pisces. The wisdom is in the trees, right? It sure is. If we could just take a page. Everything is so different with them. It just told me. You're, you're, you're actually shuffling with the trees. And it's true, because if you think about it, cardboard and paper come from pulp, pulp comes from trees, so I'm actually playing with every deck that you ever um, play with, other, th other than if it's plastic. Um, this one is not. You're playing with nature. <laughs> Interesting. Nice little, woof, you know. Uh, to the right, all the way. Uh, I'm drinking Cafe Coco, by the way. That's the pause. Feeling very calm today, very um, kind of rainy day vibes for me. Um, it is a little bit darker outside, but um, it always gives me time to kind of settle into my energy, and I like that. And that's what I feel. I feel that you, somehow you've settled into your... You've recently just reconnected with that tender, very wholesome, very soft part of you. And there's that liberation from that distorted way of thinking from before. Like, I'm afraid that I'm going to get hurt. I'm afraid things aren't going to work out. So you've been busy. The Seven of Swords. Yeah. That's the card of deception or also my card of stealing away in the night, you know, like afraid of getting hurt. So you kind of just, you know, you avoid negativity, negative energy, but you've done a lot of work. Look at this beautiful Eight of Pentacles. This is saying the work here with them. Um, your page of cups, you have really worked at finding your tender heart, your tender self, which is a page of cups. If you're a Pisces dreamer who has imagination, you have to have a softer side to you. There's just, you're passionate, you're inspired, and you're, you do have a softer side to you. I think that's what scares us because it can get us in trouble. But this is a different kind of thing. Look at this. Look at this King of Cups. He's so like Zen, right? We're Zen here. Everything is good here. And um, I love the the uh, shout out to, you see the, uh, uh-huh, see? They're both here. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So I love that. It's like the holding of hands and the, and the quiet and the, the softer spirit. A couple of gentle days coming in, Pisces. A couple of gentle days coming in. Ten of Wands. The long, hard road here. See that? To victory. One more. Hmm. Absolutely. You had the Justice card, but I'm not going to keep it. I just kind of float it off to one side. 
It's in reverse, and then this side, her eyes are closed. But this side, if you look, her eyes are open. They are. They're very open. Okay? Do you see that? So, it's so much darker on this side of this card. I feel that you've had your eyes open from the darkness. And, and it's not like that anymore. It's this way. We'll just let it go for a moment. If it comes back and becomes more relevant as the reading goes on, we'll, we will um, talk about it. But for now, we're going to talk about this right here. It has been a road, a long road to reconnect with what you needed to. The people around you, your energy, everything. And it's not to tell you that it's not going to continue, like that, that you're not going to have any obstacles coming up. But the whole point in this is, is you. You feeling like you need, like you have reconnected with part of you. We always rely on what the outside thinks of us. Now, we have situations where people are just awful and... It does happen every once in a while. They're just awful, and you're you're sitting there wondering what the heck happened or how things happened. Um, if it keeps repeating, I would honestly tell you to take a moment and figure out if you are actually putting out that vibe to people. Because if three or four different people, different people, not the same group of people, come back and keep telling you the same, you see, keep getting the same uh, feedback from them, um, attitude or, or heart-wise or anything. If you keep hearing the same sentence, this is definitely your journey trying to tell you that there's something you need to look at right here. But if it's a one-off and you stay there too long, second-guessing yourself, and it's just life happening, you can let it happen to you, or can let it happen for you. Um, sometimes you need to let go of what, well, bad situations are. People doing bad things. They will repeat patterns that eventually will bite them in the ass. It happens to all of us. It doesn't happen just to people who are trying to get better. It happens to people who are, who are just repeating the same thing. They go down that rabbit hole of pain. If they don't want to stop, it isn't up to you to live their lives, okay? So, but I feel that in this case, it, the burden's been long for you to to move into that victorious type of deal here. And here's the King of Wands showing up again, telling you that you are definitely winning. You're definitely doing it, okay? You know, half of this is being the observer, but without judgment. And I think that's where that judgment part is coming. Looking deep into the darkness. Let's 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 look at this. Looking into the darkness to see what's there. Okay, it's not just idly um, sometimes having your eyes closed, you know, going, I don't know what's happening. Sometimes it's really just being the observer and observing this the stuff going on. Not letting it affect you, not letting it well, you know, I say that it's very hard when you're observing it not to let it affect you. But I mean to not let it curtail your path, but to really sometimes be like an explorer. I'll, I'll use that word rather than anything else. Explore your surroundings. Explore what's going on and what's happening so that you can take, um, take a different path. Like I said, are these deep these things keep happening to you? Is there something that you're repeating to get the same situation? Or is this people trying to um, work out their own life path? Because sometimes you can actually see people that being having started to do this work. I can see people repeating patterns. And it's such a wonderful thing when they discover that they are repeating patterns, but some don't. It's equally as interesting sometimes to discover that they're not 
seeing that they're repeating the same pattern. And I usually ask Spirit if they want me to tell people if they need to know that they're repeating a pattern or to just let them go. And sometimes Spirit tells me that it's not up to me, that they need to learn this for themselves. Surprised? You shouldn't be. We're here to have a journey. I'm here to help, but I'm not here to do the work for anybody. So you have the Action of Wands. You have the Five of Cups. That doesn't much matter which way it goes. You have the Six of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Look at these cards. Okay, so... Yeah, all of this is talking to me about perseverance. These four cards right here, all I hear from them is how hard you've worked through all of this. Yeah, that's perfect as a last card. That is perfect. Okay, Pisces, so let's look here. The deserts. The deserts of the heart, right? Where it was dry, where there was no... I, I feel it's kind of sound weird, but I feel like love and everything in it is about feeling. And it is watery. It's like the flow of water. There's a lot of moisture, I feel. I know it's kind of sound weird, but that's what's coming through. And with the action of wands, I feel that you've worked hard to get out of this dry desert area. Back to water. You have really worked hard. And with that, though, comes the idea that sometimes when you're working this hard, the waterworks are going to flow. They're going to come down. Okay? When you've been dry for so long, when the water comes back, torrents will fall out of your eyes sometimes. But that's normal. You're going to have days where you need to just... Um, realize that you've forgotten what it is like to be tender of heart. That it's not a weakness when you feel hurt or pain to cry. That it's not a weakness when you feel hurt and pain to cry to look for people who will help you, who will understand you. It's not staying in there. It's not staying in a negative mindset. It's just reconnecting with that part of yourself that's how you become the master of, of emotional, um, anything emotional, is by embracing the emotion, not by running away from it. Okay? But this reconnection, it's been a, a long, hard road. And again, this is the Six of Swords. You've had to steer your boat in that direction. And sometimes you were steering the boat over water, not realizing you had to be in water. Okay? So that's the other part. This is the Six of Swords. It's all about the mind here. You had to realize it was all about the cups. Okay. And right here, finding water, going to water. Oh my God, this is so special. Look at this. The turtles. I've actually watched a documentary about this. This is so sad. But it's so the struggle of life. I mean, if you want the struggle of life, these, these turtles trying to make it to the ocean is definitely the, the perseverance of just, you know, hope and, and faith and, and anything and everything. And it's been, it's been hard to try to make it back to water. Most definitely. Okay. You've had to get out of the box and get out of your own mind. Because this is the card of the mind. Again, the Page of Swords, right? You're all in your head. You had to get out of there. You had to get out of that box. And you had to drive that chariot back into water. Wow. Okay, so that's, yeah, mind blown here. Um, you have the deception that you weren't succeeding. But you are succeeding. You are victorious. You are going back into the heart. And it had to do with forgiveness. It has to do with forgiving yourself, forgiving others, believing in yourself. There's a lot of heart here, Pisces, today. There's a lot of, as I said, the word tenderness. Tenderness is the word for today. 
maybe there's been I think there's been a lack of it for myself personally this is personally so I'll just take a note out of the reading uh, tenderness was not always part of my life and um, earlier on the abuse that I suffered there was tenderness there but it was the wrong kind if you know what I mean um, but it's been a long road to understand what feels right and what doesn't feel right. But you can't give up. You can't give up, Pisces. Okay? Tenderness is, is important. And passion, fire has place. Love, cups, tenderness has a place. Your mind should be a tool to help all these energies feel the best that they can. and grounding yourself on the planet. Um, it gives you a place to, to have these energies flow freely. The earth is, is like that secure spot that you can stand on to let the rest of you be fluid. You've gone from a negative to a very strong position. I like these two cards at the end. I, I love them. I think it shows the progress that you've had in your past, how far you've come. You've become very, very strong. All right, Pisces, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to come back. We're going to take a whole bunch of other cards out and marry them all together because that's truly how the magic works here. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. I will see you later. Take care.